Hey, beautiful souls. I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. Welcome back. So I was sitting here calling in Archangel Michael, asking him to wrap his protection around you and around me as I go through and I do the readings. I was also asking Metatron to activate his cube and cleanse any residual in the chakras that may need to be cleansed as we're going through and we're doing this twin flame reading. Let's see who's next. Aries! Love it! Twin flame reading for Aries. Isn't that beautiful? I love these cards. I thought I'd change it up. Why not? All right. It's airy season. Yay! I'm so excited. Airy season. Okay, let's see what's going on with Aries on the Twin Flame journey. 111 on my clock. Things are manifesting quickly. Be mindful of your thoughts, okay? It's been a lot of healing. Definitely been a lot of healing, especially with that moon, 123. A lot of Pisces energy coming in, meditate and contemplate. And I had two want to come out. New moon and Leo. And your commitment's being tested. Uh, confidence is going to be key, 144 on my clock. Okay, and have faith in your dreams and the energies gaining momentum. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of third eye chakras, a lot of throat, solar plexus, um, Pisces, Leo energy coming in. Let's see where Divine Feminine's at. Let's see what energy Divine Feminine's embody at this moment. Okay, and I get the star, 222 on my clock. There's the healing energy. Let's see where Divine Masculine's at. Let's see what energy Divine Masculine's embodying. Six of Cups, definitely past life soulmate. Okay, let's see how's Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine seeing the relationship. The Magician, Magical. Yes, yes, okay. How's Divine Feminine seeing the relationship? How's Divine Feminine seeing the relationship? Fate, destiny's moving forward. God's in charge, okay? It's going to be moving forward quickly. Two major arcanas already. Let's see how's Divine Masculine seeing the relationship? Five of Cups. Oh, really not seeing it as a positive thing at the moment. Okay. Could be going through a dark night of the soul. Divine Feminine is definitely holding, holding higher vibration, vibrational energy at the moment. Okay. Divine Masculine's definitely broke all the cups and is holding on to those last two cups. It's the only two cups I got. I better hold on real tight, okay? Because I might not get any more. 353. Okay, messages from Divine Feminine's Higher Self. Knight of Wands. Okay, Sag energy coming in, but this is also fiery, passionate, new beginning, right? Uh, could be a little aggressive. Okay, just be mindful of the shadow side of that. Could be aggressive coming out. Um, let's see messages from Divine Masculine's Higher Self. Mess messages from Divine Masculine's Higher Self. Two of Wands. This card keeps coming up. I think it's come up in about every single one that I've done today. All right, so you've asked 441. You've asked for it. You've manifested. You have the key, okay, but you're not real sure which key unlocks which box or which the, which box the key unlocks, right? It's why you're too busy holding on to those two cups. 
What if you put those two cups down and you turn around and you walk away? Let fate step in, right? That's where the magic really comes into play. Okay, what's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen for Divine Feminine? What's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen? Huh? New love's trying to come in. Divine Feminine, new love. <laughs> what's going on underneath the surface for Divine Masculine that can't be seen? Capricorn, karma. Okay, could be a Capricorn that you need to let go of. Could be a Capricorn that's trying to come in. Just really depends on if you're the one that's with Capricorn or if you're not. Okay. Uh, clarify the devil for me, please. Give me one card for the devil, please. Jupiter. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Give me one more for the devil, please. Okay, you need to move towards a new beginning. Let the karmic energy flow, okay? If you are with a Capricorn, let it go, let it flow, let destiny, fate. Um, this is also divine timing, okay? Uh, clarify the Five of Cups. That might be what you're holding on to is that karmic that needs to be let go of. Ten of Swords. Yep. Too much hurt, pain, suffering. Let it go. Let it flow. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for healing to come in so you can move in the direction that you're meant to go in. Okay, give me three cards moving into the future, please. Give me three cards moving into the future. I get seven of swords. Move away from the creepy man in the window. Nobody wants to play. You know? You've asked for the world. you got the world at your fingertips, right? Let whatever is falling fall. Okay, this is happening now. Embrace the tower. Flow with the tower. Let whoever's meant to go with this moon to go, right? So divine counterparts can come in and I get three of pentacles, mind, body, spirit. Really being able to balance all three of those, the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, the Trinity, okay? Let people go that are not serving you for your greatest good and highest joy. That's the healing that needs to take place. And also your commitments being tested, like how much do you really value your divine union, do you value it enough to walk away from, okay, those karmic situations that's inflicted pain and suffering, okay? Divine feminine is really vibing high. Divine masculine, really, you've manifested this. You got a decision to make, and then you got to move in that direction once you make the decision, okay? I love you guys. If this reading resonated, um, my website's below. I'd love to assist you on this journey. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.